Okay, I suppose we are live. Karen, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. I'm still here. I'm still on the phone. Well, I was talking to Karen Stanza was here. Well, hi, Karen. Okay, so... I suppose everybody can hear me. And I've got Karen Stanzel. Just my camera here. Let's go right here, I think. Ah, so you can hear me, huh? Please type yes. Hello, Carrie Ann. Oh, you can hear. All right. All right. I had to have a little bit of help. Oh, excuse me. I have a little bit of help trying to get this live feed going. I just... I have a bad memory. I can't remember everything, you know. So, anyway, some of you earlier might have seen my little pine cones I was making. Cute, huh? Aren't they neat? All right. So, how we're going to do this is you take a wire... I'm not sure what gauge it was because I never write them down. And you take a little pearl bead. A little pearl bead. And you glue them on your little wires. Like this. And I noticed on my other two it was shiny white on top. So I took and I coated it with brown paint. So then you take a little punch. And you punch out this corner one with the little teardrops. And you get all these little things right here. See all them little things right there? Uh-huh. I got the sunshine coming in, too. Okay. Then you take and you... What I have been doing, I've been trying to figure out an easy way to do these. And there really is not no easy way to do these. So, take one. Make sure you get a pointy tool, which this one seems to be working well. Make sure you get that point right there on the top. And we twirl and we twirl and we twirl. And we twirl until we get oop, until we get these ones. Which are all little twirled up ones. Alright. Then you take. Oh, I gotta move my mouse pad back. And you take one over on your mouse pad. You take your big dotty tool and you put it on there. Oh, can you see? Oh, maybe not. And you rub it back and forth. It's kind of hard. Like that. And that. Martha, your camera's a little fuzzy. Oh, I can't do nothing about it. Not until maybe next week I get my new camera the, early the week after that. There. Is that better? All right. So you're going to take and you're going to rub back and forth. Until I find my tool. You get a little cup. See how it's kind of cupped right there? That's going to be the very bottom of the pine cone. Alright. Alright. So we got a whole bunch of them made. So. What we're going to do now is. You, either you can use one of these little things. Do 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 do. And put it in there. Which I come to find out. is really kind of hard to do after a while. So. Get your glue out. And put some glue on there. Mine drips, so I put a little drip tray there. 
take your tweezers. You know, pick up one little piece at a time, and you're gonna put. You know, make sure it help probably if I have my glasses on too. Get your little point up and glue it right on there. And I wanted to make five per little thing I was gonna make, but I'm thinking, well, I think three is gonna be enough. My glasses, people. I need my glasses. Hi, Amy. Who else is here? Carrie Ann, Amy, and Karen. Okay. So. See, it won't hold. So I'm going to hold it with my fingers, too. And you start your little point out. You start out with three, I think. What I start out with. Okay. So pull this one little over here. And we're going to put it. Wow, look at that. We started out with two, so let's go with two. Okay, fine. We'll do another little round of glue. Well, the other one, the other ones I made, I had to do three in the beginning. Little buggers to pick up. Then you're going to place them right in between the cracks of the other ones. Kind of, maybe. And I just went out and opened the door up, and my goodness, it's nice outside. Just place them right around in there like that. These are tiny, tiny, tiny little things. Oh, my goodness. Like, what was I thinking? See, I can hold that better. And that's why you put the wire in it. So you can hold it. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. Okay, so there's, we got three on there. So let's do another round of glue. I don't know why my glue bottle keeps leaking. So we're going to pick up another one. I sat here for a good hour rolling these little buggers. And these are all nice and little curved. I'm just gonna I'm just kind of place them around. I think I want to take and glitter them too. I think they're gonna be very, very cute glittered. And if it's too rounded, flatten her out a little bit. Make sure your points are up. I have always, always liked, ever since I was little, I've always liked little things, little tiny things. And these are really actually fun to do. Okay, one more right there. All right. And there's the start of our little pine cone. Now let's do drip, drip, drip. Come on, glue bottles. You kind of want to get it up on the other pine cones too. So they stick good. That's what we like. Stick good. So I'll do this one. And then we're going to try something on one of the other ones that are already dried. Come on, get out of here. I say we need more glue. We'll add a little bit more glue. place another one just like the other one and 
I wanted to make five a piece, it's like, oh, I ain't gonna, uh-uh. That'd be making like 15 of these things. I have patience, people, but <laughs> I think that's just going to be way too much. Oh, more glue. Get them out of the way. My fingers start getting sore after rolling all these little things. Alrighty. So, that might could be it. That might could not. More glue. Depends on how full you want them. You could do the bottom pieces right now, but I think we can do one more row before we put the bottom ones on. I think these are going to be so darn cute. Some rolled real good. Some I rolled a little too tight. Hi, Lynn. KK's on the phone. Or she be chatting with y'all. Or she is on chatting. All right. I thought Miss Ruby Doobie'd come in, but I think she's playing her wow game. Get back here, and you can lose them too, especially when you cough or sneeze, <laughs> which I've done a couple times already, and they went flying like everywhere. Oh my god, these are just too precious. All right, we're going to put on a bottom row, so more glue on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to take the ones that we rolled up that were on the, because they they got a real good cup on the bottom of it, and that's what you want to put on the bottom to kind of hide the bottom of the bead. Well, that one ain't cupped. There's always a way to make something you need. Always. Always, always, always. Okay. Our little pine cone is done. Isn't that cute? I love it. I may, I'm actually making them for a Oh, hi, Die Die! Die Die, where's Die Die? Hi, Mar. Hi. There's my little handmade pine cone, which started from a bead. Then you put it on a wire, and I painted the tips all brown. Look at the snazzy meat container for my holder. Ain't that cool? It works. It really works. So, here's all my dried ones. Cute, huh? Okay, so this was the first one I did. So we're going to try something. The little points look pretty cute. Right? They look pretty cute. We're going to take the tweezers. I'm going to try rolling them back just a little bit. Oh, these are cute. 
I'm thinking I don't need more layers really to do this. I don't think I'm liking this one too well. Looks cute from the top, don't it? Come on, hold still. It's just a little bit more opened up than the other ones. Yeah, I think to do this, you have to have it more layered. Let's see if I can close that top up. Right, how's that look? I can't wait to get my other my other camera. Hi, Talise. Hi, Vicky. That one's all opened up. And this is the one that's not opened up. Oh, they're so cute. I'm falling off the phone. Aren't they, though? Yes, they're so cute. They're so tiny. Yeah, they are. They're just, look at smaller than my thumbnail. All right, that, my people, is how to make pine cones. Shall we make another one or no? Shall we make something else? Hi, June! Hi! What have you used for the brown part? Okay, let's try this all over again. Take some brown paper. Not the gluey one, but brown paper. And this punch has teardrops on it. And this is a corner punch. So I sat here and punched and punched and punched and punched and punched a whole bunch till I got this little pile here. Then you take one of your little piles, which actually I found out works better if you do wet your finger. I think it helps wet the paper a little bit. Okay, you're going to take your little pointy thing, go right on the teardrop, and you're going to roll and roll and roll. Roll into hay, roll into hay. And that's how you get your little curved pieces. Okay, right. I'll have you make me some. That's just too tiny for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then to get your bottom <laughs> pieces, which look like this. Let's see, it's got a little, it's cupped right in there. You're going to take, yeah, hold on, that's a scrap piece. I'm going to take one of these, but I used it on my, um, my mouse pad. And take a decent sized stylist, and you're going to rub it. You're going to rub it till it all curls up. <laughs> And that's the piece that we use for the very bottom of it because it's got that nice cup cup action going on. All right. Where are you going to be putting those little pine cones at? Well, I want to make a little centerpiece for on top of the fireplace. And look at what I made. Oh, cool. And this is also what I made for the fireplace. I made little candle snuffers. Nice. Oh my god, those are so adorable. Aren't them cute? They're just little, um, I don't even know if you can buy them anymore, but little white bell beads. And I tried painting it regularly, but no, I had to put gesso on it. So I gessoed them, and then I painted two silver, and the gold one is mine. I like the gold one better. Oh my god, they're so cute. Aren't them adorable? Okay, made them. Um, and my books. Oh, y'all seen my little, the little clock, right? I changed the clocks. I made these ones instead because it's winter. We need a snowflake oh, clock. Oh, goodness. And so, out of all the wood things, I had got, this lady gave me an opportunity to go through a whole bunch of wood stuff. And I sent all the girls some. And they were these wood wood books. 
So I painted them up and I took this little foiling right here is actually fingernail foil that you can mm -hmm. design your nails with. So that's what I did to the books. I wanted to put Bible or Holy Bible on the black ones, but I don't have a small enough gold pen. So I just left them all. Then I took some double stick tape on the top and then I put some foil on it. Uh, the sheets of foil that can transfer. So the brown ones are copper and the other books are gold. Wow. And what if you I just, just put took... Bible on there and then put holy on the front? Yeah, well, I have to have, I don't got a gold pen. I've got a calligraphy pen, but it's it's not a very fine, 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 fine point. So I just thought, you know, I'm just going to hmm. leave them alone. And then I just painted gold right here for these because the bottom's going to be glued on. So them are all going to be kind of lined up like this. And I made a blue one. A blue one for Linda and a green one for Polly. And that's how they're going to be lined up. Be glued oh up. Oh my God, that is so place. cute. Aren't them cute? Yeah, so I made them too. And pine cones. So, like I said, I thought about doing seven of them for the the centerpiece, but it's like, no, that's too many. That's too, this is too much. So I'm just gonna do three per set. Christine says hi. Hi, Christine. Oh, hi, Christine. I keep getting pop ups. Oh, that's because she subscribed. Yay. Thank you, Christine. And then Little Angels Creationist says, Hi, everyone. I'm home today. I've got food poisoning from chicken. That's no fun. <gasps> oh, you poor girl. Oh, that is not fun at all. Okay. I have to put these into something. And I got something right here. Then we're going to start on something else. I want to start making one. Because since I've got three of the pine cones already done... All right, so I'm going to put all these in here for right now. Maybe. That was a lot of punching out, people. That's a lot of punching out. My fingers start hurting from rolling them, and my hand hurt from punching them out. There's that one. I'll put that in the to-go box. I'm going to put all well, them I can leave for later. Now my rolled ones. That one ain't rolled. That one goes back in the pot. We're going to do a little bit of quilling. And what bummed me out is I went through all my colors. I even, I emptied my whole box out on the floor with dust and trash and whatever else was in there. What a mess. Anyway, I went through all my <laughs> colors, and I could not find any cream paper that I had. So, anyway, I have I got a dilemma of either using brown, or should I do the red? Traditional. Well, what are you making? Well, um, I'm going to make a little basket. Kind of. It's kind of going to be a basket. It's, I want a little oval thing to put a, make a centerpiece out of. So, um, Okay, maybe red. Let me see what everybody says. Okay, may, I'll change my mind to red. <laughs> you changed your mind to red? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's actually going to determine how much paper I got. So, wait a minute. I got to make, well, at least make two. One for Polly, one for Linda. So, let's go with the red. All right. You talked me into it. So, we'll just pull out the red. <laughs> and we'll pull off some pieces. Now, I've never, this is just, you know, things in my brain. We're going to try it. We're going to attempt it anyway. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start with one. 
quilling tool. La 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 la. And we're gonna make, I wanna make three. One, two, three, or two. I don't know. Let's see what we can come up with. These one I'm buying, I want them to be solid. I don't know, I think these will be too big. No, maybe not. So we're gonna make a base. I want three. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to use the whole. <laughs> the size of the pine cone might determine. That's too big. Well, let's undo it a little bit. Okay, we'll go right there. And then we're going to put a little bit of... Oh, good God. That poor thing. Make sure you get it kind of even. Now pull it off, flatten it down. Okay, now with what I had left over, I've got, oh, let's go from the other side. I got to pull off, say, 12 inches. I got to take off 12 inches. So you measure it. And see, I don't have my uh, 12 inches. Just take it right there, rip it off. And usually it's always better. Your ripped end is actually your best end to glue down when you're done rolling. Because it melts into the paper better. It don't leave much of a little harsh line. You roll and roll and roll and roll and roll. They got little doodad gadgets that you can sit on here and it makes it all flat and stuff. As long as you just sit there and kind of help it along. My glue bottle is terrible. And you don't need much glue. Just one little dab will do you. One little dab will do you. Yep, that's true. That's so true. Okay, so we've got two. Let's do another one. Pull off 12 inches. There's 12 inches. Pull that off. All right. I really wish I had some cream because I want. I was gonna make kind of like a a checkered or wicker, kind of like a wicker type basket. Mm -hmm. But the little other baskets I got, wherever they may be, are too too deep to work with. What I'm looking for. Okay, so la na 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 na. Okay, little angel, go take your little shower. Why my glue bottle is doing this? Anybody can figure out why a glue bottle does that? Let me know. Right. Pull that off. All right. This is what I'm intending to do. That one I didn't do very good, but it don't matter. The bottom looks all right. That's all I care about. Think, think, think. Okay, so what we're going to do, actually what we need is our quilling platform. Which, wherever I put it, that's a good question. What did I do with it? Um... Uh, Oh, man, I'm really losing my mind. I found it. I knew I set it over here somewhere. Oh, look. I was going to do a live show the other day with some of... I was going to make a quilling card, too. I shall save that for later, though. Okay, this is what I use for my quilling board. Let's see if I go up a little higher. Stay put, dude. Stay put. 
All right, here's my board. Uh, wax paper. This time I put sticky paper, on, uh, sticky double stick tape on the edge because this is what normally will will rip first. I've took a measurement of all my measurements, you know, 1 to 13. That's how I measure my stuff too. I've got me a little piece of um, foam board, which I double sticked onto that. And then you have your pins. When you use your glue, da -da 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 -da, and you got a nice little pile there. When you're done with it and it's all dried, you can peel it right off. And it works wonders. Then you got to also have a toothpick. That's why I like this board. I wash them up after I get my meat out of it. Really good. And it's a marvelous tool. Marvelous tool. Okay. Um, glasses. Yeah, where I put them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so. Let's just go ahead and pile us a little pile of glue. And we shall proceed to do this. I hope this works out. I hope, I hope, I hope. All right. So we're going to take and we're going to take our little toothpick and we're going to, well, glob it on. Ooh. Put your little glue on there. Take your pin. Put your pin in the middle. Take your other one, put a little glue on it. This is actually a good place to use tweezers. And put your pin in there. A little bit of glue. And sometimes tweezers don't help. And your other pin. Push it towards the next one and pin it. We let that dry for a few minutes. Okay. Um, I want to make this. We gotta let that dry for a few minutes first, people. So. And I also found. Look at. I found a tree. Which I'm thinking about cutting off the little branches and putting in there too. But I need help in thinking of what else to put in the little centerpiece. Should I make candles to put in the centerpiece and forget that other one I quilled up? Or what? Hmm. I didn't know. Okay, so like I said, we gotta let that dry for a minute. Um I was thinking about making like a chain curtain for the fireplace too, which I've been thinking a lot about. I wanted to make a where you could move it. But if I make one that goes on the top of it and it just draw, you remember the ones that you could draw a string, you just pull it and it would open up for your fireplace. That's what I was thinking. Because that one you could just cut, put the rod through it and hang it. And you're done. Instead of weaving the wire all the way in and through and making a little. Anyway, things in my brain, you know how that goes. I need to drink a tea. So what's everybody doing? Everybody have a good Sunday so far? Sometimes you can be impatient waiting for the glue to dry. But 
but maybe, just maybe, we can work with it. So, let's just take the glue bottle and make sure they're all flat. And we're going to put some glue right around the edge. Hi, Toby. Okay. The other end is tore off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip this end off. It's a smoother finish. We're going to make sure that this sticks all around all of it. Add a little bit more glue. And make a mess while you're doing it. Take your toothpick if you have to. Spread it around. <laughs> make sure it stays flat. <laughs> what are you laughing at, woman? Died that goes drinking tea and it's when you hear I say LOL died out. I'd say piss off, but <laughs> I mean that jokingly, y'all. <laughs> oh. Where is Die Die? Die Die, guess what, honey? Um. <laughs> uh oh. What? I made Die Die moderator. <gasps> Look who's in the house! Ruby's here. Hi, Ruby. Is Ruby here? Where is she? Yes, she is. But oh, she's there muted. she is. Hi, Ruby Dooby. Okay. Okay. There we go. I just wanted to make this video get rid of it. What? <laughs> Are you playing WoW? Well? No. Oh. Okay, I'm going to call Hi. it on just enough to embrace them. Hi, everyone. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Laz. Hey, Die Die. Miss New Wrench Lady. Yeah, I'm one on hers. So might as well have her one on mine, right? Right. Hi, Christine. Hi, Vicky. <gasps> Hi, Lynn. Okay, we have to let that dry. Dry, 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 dry. Hey, Carrie Ann. <laughs> I don't know how this is really going to work. <laughs> it's pictured in my brain, but the actual making of it's going to be a little difficulty. <laughs> okay. glue dry get off the excess now I think it's gonna have to be built oh, I don't know how this is gonna work come on people how is this gonna work I want it to come out a little like a hmm. okay 
Either way, we got to pull off more paper. So I got to make two. So we might as well make the other little circles while that one's drying, right? Right. There's two. I didn't pull that one off correctly. Oh no. See my burn? Oh, KK, that's. <laughs> Ow! She got a good burn. How'd you do that? You want to see what's all over? You want to... Look at all that. I've tea dyed all these papers today envelopes, doilies, vellum. 65 pound weight, 110 pound weight cardstock today. Wow. And okay. that's what I did to myself. We have that to was talk. very painful. Oh, that place. Actually, you know what stopped the burning really fast? Huh? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Take off 12 inches. Yep, I, it's not even burning anymore. I put mayonnaise on it and just left it there. I've heard people saying mayonnaise works. It does work. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Mm. I smelt flesh burning too. <laughs> it was bleh. yeah, it probably stuck to the grid. Yep, it's it's already starting to ooze out a little bit too, and I I think it's a combination of putting the mayonnaise on it. I was trying to take my papers out and wasn't paying attention and hit the element. Yeah. Just like daddy, I'm starving. Oh. I'm just gonna have a salad. I'll have a salad. Half hour before you eat. <laughs> How's that diet going, KK? Doing pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My original wedding rings, I can put back on now. Your original wedding rings? Explain that one, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, my very, my actual wedding ring set that he gave me, not the set that I've been wearing. <laughs> I haven't been able to wear them for years. But now wow. I'm going. Hi, Chalice. <laughs> Jerry, who? <gasps> Miku said hello. Hello, Miku. Did you say hello, Miku? <gasps> no. And that's how you make a loose curl. coil. See? You said a squirrel? A coil. A scoil. Oh. That's how you make a loose scoil. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you were making a squirrel. I was like, wait, you're making a squirrel? <laughs> Ruby, you need to teach me to go, Jeff, coffee, now. <laughs> yeah, I should. That eh? would be cool. Uh -huh. That would be cool indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be hilarious. But it would be pretty cold by the time it got to you. Oh, no. I'm still waiting for mine from Raymond. Raymond, coffee now. <laughs> he said he's working on it. <laughs> oh, I bet. Martha, Martha, yeah. show Ruby the little pine cone you made. Okay, let's revisit oh the little God, pine Ruby. cones. Wait a minute, where are you at? You see how tiny they are? Oh my Look at God. Them. Look at, there's my fingernail. 
you made those? Yes, I was making yes, them while did. you. I was on your show. Oh, Aren't them cool? <coughs> yeah, they are. Actually, those are pretty cool. And them are the starts of the other ones. I painted, because I noticed on these two, there was still white showing, so I painted the tops so they wouldn't be so white. Wow. A lot of punching and a lot of curling. A lot of curling and a lot of curling. I like that. Now, this one, just a few minutes ago, I took tweezers and I tried uh, pulling the little... Come on. Yeah, you want to focus. Yeah, it's not going to focus. Oh, well, there it went. And I tried pulling goes. the little points down. Okay. But I don't like it as good as this one. I think the other one looks better without the points pulled down. What do you think? Yeah, I like it without. Yeah, me too. Like I said, I wanted to make like five for each basket that I'm going to make. And it's like, no, I'm just going to make three. <laughs> Just gonna make three. And actually, I don't even like this AGG for this. I like my good old Elmer's glue. Which I forgot where I put. Okay, got them all nice down and flat. Let's take one of these and go around it. Where's my Elmer's glue? I need my Elmer's glue. Oh no, guess what? It was opened. Ha! I'm going to be able to order any art glitter glue. It's starting to be getting too cold. Well, when I ordered mine, I ordered two bottles. So I'm good to go there. <gasps> well, let's have some glue, huh? <laughs> oh, Oops. No. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. Martha, you're fired. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. I was just saying that in my head. Uh, don't pour out your glue with the lid off. Well, hello, Crystal. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Crystal. Come to Martha's mess. Martha made a mess. But that's Ruby, right. it's Lynn Young wants to know. You that you said you're gonna have staples print out your digis. Do they print on cardstock or computer paper? <laughs> yeah, you're lucky, Crystal. You're very lucky. Very lucky to see my mistakes. Maybe this time. I'll close it up. Well, maybe it won't close. Okay, well, we have glue. Okay, so we're going to take the glue. I'm going to go around to you. Which would have been better off using the little glue bottle. Uh. Or you could use a paintbrush if you got a good old cheap paintbrush. Don't matter. Pull off your other end. Make sure they're both pulled off. Yeah, all right. And we're going to proceed to glue. So 
And like I, it's been a while since I've uh, really quilled anything. So your best bet is to do it just right on the paper. Seems to work a lot better that way. What do we do three times around the other one? Make sure it's all nice and flat. And we're going to tear it off. We're going to let that dry. All right, while well, that's drying, we have to build this up. So, how we're going to do that is a good question, people. I really don't know. We we will try something. We definitely will. Okay. And this tore off. Go right down the paper. If you think you can have the mild taco meat, you can add three of those uh, corn things to make little mini tacos. We're going to try to glue up halfway. Like I said, I don't know if this is really good. How do you make how do you make something bigger? I don't know. In my mind's eye it should work. La dee dee, la dee da. I'm kind of thinking this could be a failure. Don't mind me. I'm just eating. Hey, Crystal. Hi. Hey. He's got no paper. Hey, Candy. Hi, girls. Welcome to my night. I haven't done it yet, Lynn. I haven't gone to Staples yet, so. I'm really thinking this is not really going to work the way I want it to. <laughs> <laughs> you did die die <laughs> that was funny i was grossed out okay <laughs> i grossed myself out mm. i made baked potato oven roasted corn on the cob cauliflower and shake and bake chicken that's my supper Yeah, Martha, what are those? They want to know. They don't look like pine cones. Well, I said in anything else, this is going to be hopefully a little centerpiece that we're going to put the pine cones in. And now that we got more people, I might just have to make another pine cone and show them how to do it. But these got to be done and let them dry. And this really don't have to be that big, but I wanted it a little wider. This is just trial and trial and error, experimental.
probably one more time around would probably work. It might just build up just that little depth that I need. See, I need it deeper than that. Let's go down a little farther. Huh? Is this better? See, I want it a little deeper than that. So I'm going to let that one dry. And let me get this stuff out so I can see what's going on with the chat. Okay, so this one should be dry. See, I always get holes in it, but it's still good to work on. That's what I don't like about the glue. You can get, you can get, and quilling, if you're not real good with gluing, although it does dry, but see the bottom of that? That's gross. But it's the bottom, so we don't care. But if you're making little butterflies or hummingbirds or whatever you're making, be really careful with your gluing because it will ruin your project. With all that glue. And then you try to cover it up with Wink of Stella or something, and it, it kind of helps a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so I don't remember what piece I put around there. Was it a big one or a little one? Uh, let's put this one on there. I don't remember what piece. Did I use a whole one or not? I don't think I did. So I'll we'll use the 12 inch that we took off. Make sure the other end is tore off. That one's tore off. That one's tore off. Okay, fine. You see how that works. Okay. I'm going to get the bottle out for this one. Because that was a little pain in the butt. And we'll build this up. And then we'll let this all dry for a little bit. All that glue I poured out. I'm only going up like halfway on this. Something like that anyway. Kind of looks like a bread bowl right now. The other one. Hi, Ollie Mae. Ollie Mae is my kitty cat for all you newcomers. Usually it's always, always good to have a wet wash rag. Oh, and make sure you spray it the other direction. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's twice I've sprayed it at me. Better yet, if I just wet it under the faucet. There. And that helps Kate make sure that you don't get all that gooey, yucky stuff on there, too.
Sure was a nice day out there, I guess. I opened the door up a little while ago, and it was like, wow, I didn't know it was going to be that kind of warm out. Probably would have been a good day to go sweep up the rest of my leaves and apples. I told my neighbor he could take all the apples he wanted to on the ground for deer hunting, but I guess he only goes rifle hunting. All right. I'm going to let that dry. And end I got a little too long. All right. Don't touch. And pin them down so you don't lose them. All right. We shall let that dry. Okay. Let's make another pine cone, hey? I have a drip paper. All right. So, let's get out. See the curled one. We need curled ones. And then we need tools. There's my tool. And we need one of these. Okay. We're going to, do I have to go through all the steps again, people? Hmm? Or are you just going to watch the rerun? Okay, these I've curled. These over here on my mat um, have, they got more of a little dip in them. They look like a beetle, like a beetle shell. <laughs> them are going to be for the very bottom of the pine cone. And this is the start of our pine cone, a little pearl-shaped bead glued on to a wire. And we're going to take some glue and put around. I'm going to take up one of these little curly things and glue it on there, just like that. I'm going to take another little curly thing and glue it. Just like that. Nope. Need more glue. Take another little curly thing. And you gotta put it right over here on this side. And really, with your fingers, squish them in there. The other one I made with two of them, that turned out really cute. More glue on the pearl bead and your other pieces. By the time you get done with these, you're all glued up. You try to center them in the middle of the other ones you put on. Uh, it's too quiet, people. It's too quiet. I'm sorry. I'm making my salad for dinner. So I'm going to mute. I'll be back. All right. No problem, dearie. All right. Nope, I need one more right there. I'm going to squeeze that little bugger on there. All right. Now for round three. And try to place them right in the middle of the ones that you did. Oh, that's a round one. We don't want that one in there.
And more glue right there. Oh my god, these are just too freaking cute. And I'm so glad I thought of it. I was kind of happy that I had a... See, and I punched these out on a quarter punch. These little pearls. So there was a lot of punching, a lot of curling. Can y'all see good? Ah, hey, hi. <laughs> and some of them, if you get a little too round, you wait and use that for the next one. For the beginning of it, the rounder at the top, the better. Use your more wider, flattened out ones. Oh, come on. For the bottom. It depends on how you glue them. If you want them to come out a little bit more, you can glue them more of a slant. But just get the darn things to cooperate is another story. Oh, this one's really cute. And the fuller, the better, I guess, because these are really adorable. Okay. So just imagine, I don't know how many pieces I've used on here. That's why I decided to make only three per little basket. One right there. I hope you girls are entertaining yourself in chat there. Okay, my salad's done. I can eat now. Okay, now I'm going for the bottom piece. For the bottom pieces. Which we used off the mouse pad. Got just the right little bit of cup to put on the bottom. As if you can get them to cooperate. I lost it. Hey, Mikey, I lost it. Probably could have used one more row of the regular ones. Hi, Amy. <laughs> Hi, Lenny. Hi, Amy. Yes, Amy James. Amy Wolf, I'm sorry. Amy Wolf, yes, this is paper. 
You know me and my little paper. And my little minis. Except my tweezers are having too much gluing difficulties. Which I want that to pop out a little bit more. A little bit more! We want a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. A little bit more gluing. Maybe them. Some of them are maybe too curled. Okay. And there's our little pine Nikki Phillips said, do you got binoculars on, Martha? I got goggles. <laughs> yeah, there's our little pine cone. Isn't that cute? And after all the glue dries, we have that. They are adorable. Very, very adorable. And I think I want to glitter them. I'm not sure yet. So they take a little bit to make, don't they? After you punch them all out on this, then you curl them, then you cup them, and then you glue them together. All out of a little rice bead. Use this little bead right there. Little rice bead. Well, that's not a rice bead. That's a teardrop. <coughs> Christine um, Harbor Freight, if you join up for the magazine every month, uh, they got the little free giveaways. Like this month is uh, the 18 inch magnetic strip. The chicken screw into the wall. Oh, really? That's a good deal. Yes, I got two. <laughs> All you gotta do is go in there and buy something, and they give you something free. If you take that, keep on with you. Uh -huh. With any purchase. I know I'd like to go get a, another. Uh, although I do have my electric drill, I would like to have a cordless drill. They are handy mm. to have around. Well, I don't know if you have a Harbor Freight. Sign up for the magazine, Martha, and use your 20% off coupon to get it. No, uh, they send it to me every week. I bought oh, lots sweet. of stuff there. Well, you're welcome, Violet. If the tweezer is from a dollar store, I can't get those to work at all. No, honey, these are not dollar store tweezers. These are actually quilling tweezers for tiny, tiny, tiny stuff. And they are very sharp. Very, very sharp. I mean, if you poke, you're going to hurt yourself. I do have these tweezers where I forgot where I got them from. But they, they can hold on to your... I mean, that's, you know, I need to set it down. They work really good. Then you get the dollar store tweezers like these. The only thing you can do with that is pinch your fingernail when you put on your acrylics. <laughs> they work good for that. <laughs> Make sure you leave that magazine in your book, Christine, so that way if you go to Harbor Freight, you got it on you. Yeah, these are very good tweezers. 
Yeah, the super magnets too. Those little magnets I get uh, by the Ruby. Some they also there. They're also there. <sighs> okay, so how is our little things over here doing? Oh no, let's put these back in. Okay, so everybody's seen how to make the pine cone, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I keep all our little goodies in there, and I found a few over here floating around because I coughed earlier, and they went everywhere. <laughs> That's what I would be afraid of. <laughs> Well, kind of yeah, it was kind of like the Wizard of Oz, you know. The tornado came and they blew away. Hurricane Sneeze came in and just blew it all away. Yes, they did, KK. <laughs> all right. So, I don't really know how deep I want to have these, but while we are still letting them dry a little bit more, because they're not still stiff, because I want to do another another go around. I might even do... Yes, ma'am, Crystal. I don't know. Yeah, we need another Kelly go around on them. Says, Hi, all. We'll have to watch from the beginning later. Yeah, I cover my mouth after I cough. That's a good idea. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi, Lainey. All right, so, like I said earlier, I found this tree, and I think I'm going to incorporate some of the leaves of that into this little whatever I'm making centerpiece. And what I also need for the centerpiece is more greens. Some more of these. And I'm going to incorporate them. And I'm thinking about maybe even going out and checking my pine tree. And putting some real pine tree needles in there. Not the blue one. We don't want the blue one. But I got to have more, so I'm going to snap into some more of them. So I need some more green paper, which I got a pile of it over here. It's a bad pile, bad, bad pile. Two different greens. And my Tim Holtz punch. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-oh, somebody done stole it. Nope, there it is. Oh, and I also found that, uh, where did I get these from? Oh, yeah, I got these little bows at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Put them on the fireplace, too. They are so pretty and shiny. I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them. So... Pulling out all the good stuff. Now we're going to sit here and do some of these. I'm going to watch some chat. I wish this cord was out of my way, though. I'll move it over there. Oh, that's better. Oh, no, wait. Come on now. All right. So is anybody working on anything? Ugh. Oh my goodness. I'm working on my salad. <laughs> yeah, crunch crunch. Mm-hmm. I decided to chop up raw broccoli in there. Oh, that sounds good. Mm, that's yum yum yummy. Especially well, with the vinegar. 
I was going over to Gary's last night. He says, well, I got a whole bunch of stuff I want to burn and all that. And I says, well, okay, now come over and keep you company or whatever. And I got ready and um, right when I was getting ready to walk out the door, he calls. He says, well, I can't move the boat because we ran out of fuel for the tractor to move the boat. And uh, we're not having no bonfire. I says, okay, fine then. So we decided to go out and uh, uh -huh. played some Keno. And I kept thinking my five digits going to come out. So I played my five digit. Well, they got this new thing. It's, um, I don't know, extra. You got to pay extra dollar per draw. And I normally never, I never do that. Well, all my numbers come out with that draw, with that, that other draw thing, and I didn't play it, or I would have won a whole bunch of good money last night. Somebody told me, like, five grand. I just, my heart just dropped. It's like, oh, my God, really? No. How many times you try to kick yourself in the butt? <clears throat> yeah, because that really could have helped me out. Really could have helped me out right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. I told Gary, I says, well, you know, I could have took you and me somewhere for a little vacation. Okay. Everyone knows Candy of Violet is Anna. She says she was scrapbooking, but she just found, found out that someone she knows died. So she's just trying to ignore reality at the moment. Aw. I'm so sorry, hon. Yeah. It's always sad when it, death happens. Let's see if I can sneak one. Oh, look at I can sneak one in there, too. All right. I think that's enough of that, eh? I need more dark green ones. More dark green. More dark green. Uh, and then Vicky, um, Vicky Phillips says she can't buy no scrap, uh, scrap, crap, <laughs> craft supplies for a while. She had to buy a new car. Oh, a Dodge Journey, huh? I quit with the pop-ups, people. Do some dark anymore. When somewhere, you know what, maybe I should just keep them all light green. Because I got some holly ones that I got a die cut for. And I want to take somewhere I've got some um, little tiny wood beads. That I want to paint up for the holly berries and put in there but to find them wherever I put them is going to be another story. And I think I really, really, really. We should try one. I really want to glitter one of them. Homes. So let me find the glitter that I want to use. Oh, look at there. These are the glitters my mother had. They're $2.99. And I couldn't tell you how old they are. But that's not the color I want to use. Oh, and then she has... 
the Martha Stewart collection. These were for my mother. And then I got some neons. Oh my god, I love the neon glitter. Okay, and these were mostly my mother's too. And I think these she used for um oh look at oh what's that color liquid gold kind of like liquid gold okay let's see what we got Ooh, it almost looks like the same color don't it i think it is and these I sh anyway i think she bought these for um working on clothes there's a brown there. I don't know which one I like. I don't know that one. Right, and or it's Anna, right? Candy, it's Anna. Yes, Anna. All right. Yes, ma'am. Color. What do we got in these bottles? Oh, more Martha Stewart glitter. Ooh. Actually, that's the same things as the other ones were. Oh, look at this little glue bottle. <laughs> Anna says glitter makes everything better unless it's stuck to you. <laughs> so, I don't know which one I like better. I like the dark brown. What do you think? The dark brown? Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the copper one to the left. Or yeah. whatever side it's to. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Not so dark. What's the lighter one called? I don't know. There's no names on them. I have no idea. I like the lighter one. Let's see what everybody I says. Do too. Lighter or darker? We'll try the lighter one. But although I do like the dark one. No one says that they had to all be the same color, right? Ew. Anna says she likes the one on her left, which is the same one I said. <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty. I do like it. It's more I like a copper. Also, okay. Like a brass. Let's try to not get that stuck in the glue. Throw that one out. Put all these little buggers over here. And we need Glitter don't stick to glass that much, so we'll use the glass. Let me get my uh, scrunchy old brush. Oh, and look, at, we'll go back to the glue I spilt. I think it's still sticky. Yeah. Waste not, what not. That's right. All right. <clears throat> oh, which one was the one I just did? I don't want to get it all glued. Yep, everybody's agreeing the copper, the lighter one. That one's not <laughs> dried yet. The, the, see, lighter the lighter copper. one looks like copper, and the darker one kind of looks like a bronze. Okay, this one's nice and dry. I need a drink of my tea. <laughs> Actually, we should not use that at all, because it's hard to get that bugger back in there, so... Let's use a white piece of paper. Use a white paper. All right. <laughs> Crystal, that don't blame me. She said, good God, KK. Now you got to have me looking through the Harbor Freight catalog to see what I can buy. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, I hope I'm not going to glue these all together. Oh no. Because they're so tiny. I think I just glued some of these together, people. That's a little too much glitter. Because now you can't really tell what it is. Okay, let's set this one to dry. Although it is, ah, very pretty. Let's try another one, but let's just do. Hmm. A little bit on the tips, maybe. That is not helping at all. Where's my glue bottle? Just a little bit on the tips. Oop, I missed one. That's not too bad. You can at least tell what it is. Oh, missed one. <coughs> Can't miss none. Hey. Okay, I'm not sure which one I like better. The one with a little bit of glitter or the one with a lot of glitter? I don't know, you think, can you still think you can see the whole, this one? Does it look still look like a pine cone? Yeah, it still looks like a pine cone, yeah. I think they're cute. Hmm. All right, well, at least we got one glittered. I don't know, I, I still kind of like them bare without no glitter. I like them with the glitter, too. Maybe do a couple with and a couple without. Well, like I said, I was going to do like just only three in there. You got to have a odd number. Unless I really want to take the time and make five for each one. I could put three bare ones and two glittered. Or three glittered and... Oh, heck, I don't know. How about... Hold on, let's see. Two glittered and three bare ones. Or... Huh. Yeah, I want something glittered. Well, I was saying about the wood beads for the holly berries... I was thinking at mm -hmm. least uh, getting them glittered, too. I wanted them glittered. Okay. Let's put them back in their little stand so they can dry. All right. We tried the glitter. And it did turn out pretty. It was pretty.
with hardly no waste of glitter. And then I'll say, oh, KK, your unicorn got loose out of the corral again. Okay, we got to work on, on that unicorn. unicorn. So disobedient. <laughs> he sure is. All right, let me see those baskets up closer. Are you done? No, no. I want to do one more round because everything's got to be glued in it. It's got to be deeper. Okay. Yeah, I glued like halfway okay. around that one. Now I want to mm -hmm. do halfway around this one. Just trying to figure out how to build it. You know, like a deep dish is what I want. But after I make this, and then maybe tomorrow <laughs> I'll probably say, <laughs> I figured out a different way to make them. <laughs> Which I always Couldn't have. you just glue on another like row like you did there? But just yeah, that's what I was going to do. Bit, and then glue another row on. And, the, and just hide the difference with something else, like a little... Well, because the foil or something. The green. So let's let's do a little play here. Let's see. Because you're gonna glue in the greens. I don't know. You know what? That might just be deep enough. I don't know. But it's gonna be very full. Mike. Um, um, what is that? No, that's a basket, Amy. I'm trying to think of the name of the sealer. Hold on. Oh, I have a can of it. Why can I not think of it? No oh, sealer. She was saying to, to seal the glitter so you can make charms with it. And there is a sealer that you can use that won't lose the glitter effect. Oh, to keep it shiny. Mm. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking probably your thing would do it too, but I haven't tried it on glitter. There is something she can use. If anyone knows, please just jump in. <laughs> yeah, really. I um, I want to say oh, probably your thing is you glue. can get in a can. Oh look, Ruby responded. See, Hi, Ruby. She piece. said Miku is being loud. Oh. Ah. I wonder if you can use glossy accents. A glossy accents would definitely keep the keep it. <clears throat> yeah, that'll definitely keep it on there. Um, Amy says, have you ever thought of using inks to give a more color depth? Inks to what? To give your project a little bit more color depth. Maybe the pine cones, your baskets. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> No, because everything I'm making is pretty much the color I want it. Um, no, I have not. <laughs> but I think one more <laughs> round. Because, see, when I put these in, I want to kind of arch them down a little bit so they hang over. And that's going to be full, so I think I really need to go around one more time. But in order, you know what? <laughs> Wait a minute. If I use the thicker material, it would stand up higher. But do I really want it higher? You know where I'm all coming from, people. I think you should go a row higher. Yeah. Make the basket just a little bit higher because your foliage there is like overtaking your basket. Oh, it's going to be that you ain't going to be able to see the basket by the time I'm done. I just need something deep for it to go <laughs> into. Well, here, look, partition it onto the fireplace so we can see. So we can see if it needs to be a little higher. 
I think I got to be perfect size. I just gotta make it a little deeper. So there's the fireplace. Yeah. No, no. See, you really can't. I think it needs just. Yeah, you're right. Just a little higher. Yeah, it's gotta be just a little deeper. Mm-hmm. Cause you can. Well, you can oh, still see paper? the red on it. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. One more. I around. like that paper, Martha. What? I this, like that embossed paper that you have on there. This is ribbon, honey, that I got at a rummage sale. That's ribbon? Oh, my God. That is freaking gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? I got a couple of them. Yes. That are really shiny. And, then and it's I green, ain't it? Huh? It's like a vintage green, ain't it? Yes. Yeah, green and gold. Mm. That's and then pretty. I took the red thread and put on the edge of that one, and I did a blue on Polly's, too. I put extra ribbon on hers, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to do one more round of them if I've got two more 12-inch pieces. Maybe I should do... Um, I probably should do a whole piece. I don't have more. Oh no! Stop it! I am such a messy crafter. Really, really, really am. It's okay. We all are. <laughs> there is no neat crafter. Only well, Ruby. Let me take that back. You have o OCD crafters <laughs> that have to clean up as they create. Not me. I have to have a mess. And then I clean it when um, I'm done sometimes. Yeah. That's about how I am. Mine's a mess. I got everything laid all over the computer and everything. All right. Let's rip off the ends. Let's rip off that much. Guess it really don't matter if I did or not. So there we go. Get our glue bottle working. Yeah, right, Amy. The cleaning up part is optional. Very good. I'm going to take a little break. I need to smoke. I need to smoke. We'll read chat for a little bit. Does Amy Wolf have insomnia? Do you? Do you? Okay, so. Wood beads. Where would I have put all my little red wood beads? I don't think I have any small, real round ones. And the size of the... Holly... There's my little holly die. There's the size of my holly. I want to put some of them in there. Wood beads. I got a whole bunch of stuff right here in this like, little old box. Crystals and stuff. Do I have in here I can use? Of course, I got all sorts of different size little plastic pearls I could uh, paint up. Them probably would work better than the wood ones, but the wood ones would adapt to paint better than anything else. All right? All right. Ooh, all these beads I bought at a rummage sale and ain't done nothing with. 
I'm going to start beating again, people. Not too much stuff. Too much beads. Okay. I'm getting close to some type of wood beads. I got lots of um, big beads for, what is that, micro macrame? And then what is in that one? Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at these things. You remember these things? These would also make you know these? They would also make cool pine cones. Except I got the whole I'm gonna top. flip back over to chat. I mean to hangouts. <clears throat> So, no, they won't work. Show me again. What are you... I missed it. Somewhere in this box, I have... No. Um, I have just a lot of stuff. Period. No small wood. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do we got here? Plastic stuff. You never know. Maybe I'll find my little kitty buttons. The Batman. No one be there. Okay, here's some more buttons. What do I have? Real little wood wood beads. So much someday, someday, someday. Nothing in there I need. So them are too big. Maybe I don't have any tiny, tiny, tiny wood ones. What have I got here? <clears throat> what are these? How could you make those out of that pine cones? That really well. Oh, look at a whole burn mark is up in the beak part, on it right? and some legs. It'll look like a bird. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm going to have to put a beak and um, some legs on it and take a picture. It's going to look like a bird. I might just have to use a little tiny pearls. I got lots of them somewhere. No, wait, what did I find? Oh, look at little wood beads. Maybe they're too big. Well, they might not look too bad. Not too shabby at all, huh? I think that will work. That might be the winner, people. All right. So then I could put on a wire and paint them all red. So we'll put that in our little to-do box. So let me look. I can have a little more little more. Um. Seashells off the seashore. what we got in here oh this is all my mother of pearl stuff that I like and my seagull I 
would be really nice. Oh, look at what I found, KK! What? The lion charm. Hold on. Bead. <gasps> no. -uh. Okay. I told you I had it's one. In your wallet right now. Yeah, you that's going on my wallet. I actually got two of them. <gasps> oh my god, it's so perfect too. It's so cute. Oh, it's so I'll have cute. to. Yeah, it's a bead, so I'll have to make something and dangle it for it. Okay, so there, we found the lion. I knew I had it somewhere. I'm a lion, here we are. That is going on the wallet. Clean my mess up here. Oh, there's no hope for this room at all. No hope for this room at all. Okay, I'm going to read chat. Uh, no one seems to know what doctor thinks I had a stroke. They say with migraines that people have had their they're that little part of their ear pierced and say they don't get migraines anymore. I guess it's pretty true. All right. Let's see if we can get to glue in here. How much glue have I got in here? Not much. Let me refill my glue. Actually, I need my Elmer's glue, but. Look at, I've only used that much of it. Right up to the thing. Anybody obsessed with overglowed like this, where you got to sit here and peel the darn thing off because it bugs you? I mean, you know, I see the women on, on the shows with their big bottles, using their glue, it's like, that's too heavy. I think that's way too heavy. Anyhow, anyhow. Hi, Barbara Higgins. Oh, my God. I sat here and said, hi, Barbara Higgins, and I was muted. Hi, Barbara. Quit doing that, KK. <laughs> I've gotten to where I kind of look and make sure I ain't muted before I do anything. Okay, this is where I joined. This is where I ended it. So that's where I'm going to join it. Maybe. I'll make one more little round. Hopefully. Work. Remember, people, you can make anything you want out of paper. Barbara says, hi, Martha. How are you, hon? I'm doing fine, sweetie. Making a heck of a mess, but I'm doing fine. I opened up my glue bottle and spilled half my glue out. My Elmer's glue, not the good glue. 
and getting this in the glue. Let that glue take a hold. I have a very pointy plastic tip cap for mine. Uh -huh. I got another little bottle that I got like at Hobby Lobby or whatever that I use for my um my quilling. But these bottles right here I found my mom had and it come with um three different tip sizes and this was the smallest tip. But it's slanted. It's it's a slanted tip and it's like because when I ordered my AGG, I did not get the right tip for it. I didn't order the tip for it. Well, oops, size. Yeah, which stinks. <laughs> so it's like, well, what do I got around the house? And I found these ones, so. Well, right, so it does pretty good. I don't know. This is my own idea of a little basket, people. Or a little centerpiece. I just need some depth. And a little bit of width. I take anti-nausea, okay. She gets migraines. Yeah. I hear that Botox is really good too for migraines. Well, this is not gonna be very even. But it might just work. Might, might, might. I'm gonna have to let these dry overnight. Make sure they're nice and sturdy and. Quaker set. So we are paper quilling, actually, people. A lopsided basket, <laughs> but we don't care. We don't care. Wow. Well. Oops, they did. Did not need. All right. We got that piece on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the tweezers. We're going to go around. Make sure they're all glued nice and tight. Make sure it's pressed onto each other. Oh, let's 
this and then right over here where I need it. All right. No, oh, that's so lopsided. <laughs> there, I brought it up a little. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Pin it right to the board and let it go. Okay, let's take a look at our pine cones again that we made. There's my little pine cones. That one's totally glittered. That one's just glittered on the tips, and that's the raw one. I still like the raw one because you can see all the little points. There's the top of them. Isn't that cute? It's so darn cute. Look how tiny they are. Yeah, camera. They are so stinking cute. I do like the one all glittered up. I almost accidentally hit the end button. I might have to glitter that whole uh, up. Anna said, "Super cute, Martha." Okay, so we're letting that one dry. One more to do. Ouch. I got an itch. Well, scratch it. <laughs> I did. I scratched that bugger. Scratch it till it bleeds. No, not really. Well, let's do it this let's okay let's do this we're gonna make a little gar we're gonna make a centerpiece is what we're gonna make right that's gonna go in there i'm gonna put some little light welcome green. back die die and where's another little light green one i take one off which one was it So we're going to have that in there, right? Let's use the tweezers. We have our little centerpiece, and then we're going to take a pine cone in there. We're going to put a pine cone in there, too. Oh, it's going to look the bomb. Um, Barbara, I noticed that. I'm going to look the bomb. I noticed you have to try to stay away from fatty foods, oily foods, fried foods. Oh, I like it. They're cute. Yeah, truthfully, that you look at it in there, the glittered one, you can't really tell what it is. Not really, but it is pretty in there. Tis pretty, tis pretty. Come on, do it. Do it, I tell you, do it. All right, let's go get this one done and let them dry overnight. My fingers off. And at the moment, I don't know where all my little. Make sure you spray away from your face. Thank you, Peggy.
Like, why just sit here in the room all by myself, not doing much of anything, making little miniature stuff when everybody else could be in here with me, right? Right. This is what I should have done with the first one. I just pinched it while I went around. That way you get good hold. Hi, Ann Osborne. Hi, Ann. Okay, Linda, go, you go feed your hubby. So anyway, last night after we left the one place, we went to another place and we got us a pizza and played a, a four or five games of pool. And they don't really eat leftovers, him and his brother. So, uh, and he ordered a large pizza because they had no medium pizzas. So I had pizza for breakfast. I had pizza for lunch, but I'm not having pizza for dinner. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love cold pizza in the morning. <laughs> I do. I love cold pizza. And asked how you are doing. I'm doing good, sweetie. How's you? Um, did I win? <laughs> I don't think so. I even went out to the car and got my own stick. <laughs> and he beat me every game. I even did a couple good trick shots, too. And it's like, wow, amazed him. But he still won. <laughs> Dang it. Because I used to play pool way back when. Oh, bye, Ruby. Ruby's got to go. She said she's got to go wash herself and do the dishes and me kill. All right. Good night. Oh, she's already gone. Oh, she's just in there. Okay. Have a good night, Ruby. She said, hanging in there, love. Anne said. Just think, I could have won five grand last night. Oh, that just hurt my butt. That really could have helped me out. But anyway, don't cry over spilt sheep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Almost to the end, people. Almost <laughs> to the end. Anne says she hasn't been able to play pool since um, surgery in 87 on her back. And it's because she can't get to the table to see correctly. <laughs> oh, bummer, man. Pool is a good game. 
they used to have one on um when we first when i first got my computer my first computer they had qq games and uh qq pool was fun that was so fun and they don't have it anymore and it's like ah oh. the pool they have now on facebook stinks I even got really good on QQ Pool, and people would come all over saying, Hey, I heard you were good. I want to play you. So come on, then. Come on. I do like the game. I don't play it very often anymore. Not like I should. Good for the brain. Makes your brain work. Oh. Lainey said, my son just got a pool table. Ooh, fun. Ooh, I love that gammon. Oh, I do too. She says that she, um, I love it. Now I whip everyone that will play me in backgammon. Oh, I love backgammon. I do too. And what is the other game? I'm, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Where it's the pegs and you have to get around to the board, but it's like a card game. What is that game called? Cribbage. Do you know what I'm talking about? Cribbage. No, not cribbage. Is it cribbage? No, it's cribbage. Maybe it is. It. Maybe it is that one. I love that game too. <laughs> Well, I haven't played that in a while, but I love that game. Jude! Hi, Jude! What's up, chicken Martha, dude? Martha, Martha. <laughs> ah. She just come in to say hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Jude. Come back next time. She's it's on a drive -dye. by. <laughs> She's on Die Die's channel. Actually, it's Me a watch by. Each other. Well. It's a watch by. Um, Anne said that she's going to have to teach her granddaughter to play because she's ran out of people to play with. Another game I like to play too is chess. Mm. Chess is a very good Ugh. game. I don't like chess. Okay, I love spades, especially when you have four players. I haven't played spades in so, and so hers. long. This one looks so lopsided. <laughs> Look, I, I said, what are you doing here? It ain't dude? lopsided no more. <laughs> I better put that right in there. Okay. These are going to set overnight to dry. Thoroughly. I'm going to pin them to the board again. This one looks lopsided. Why does it look lopsided? It doesn't matter if they are or not because they're going to be filled up anyway. Right, right, right. All right, people. Oh, Jew says, just kidding, lol. Jude. <laughs> crazy woman. Oh, excuse me. She is one crazy woman. Okay, <laughs> so let's take all this back off there. Ooh. Keep that. My lion for my thing. And my little pine cones. Did you see my pine cones, Jude? Look at that. Look at how look how little they are. And this one is not glittered. Which I actually think I like better. Twenty-four 
27 lurking. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that, my people, is how we made mini pine cones. And we're going to let them babies dry overnight. Set them over there somewhere. Oh, and I think that might be it for me for a bit. No way, man. I could paint some bees. What? What did you say? I said that's contagious. Oh. Well, I wonder why you got timed out, Jude. That's what happens when you do a watch by. Hi. Oh, what a mess this table is. It's totally, totally wrecked. Oh, and here's some other pine cones I made, but I was actually making these for my fireplace. They're little pine cones. Oh, tie, no, uh, die cut. Little. And then I folded them in half, and I there's there's five glued together on this one. Four on that one. Oh, I meant this is the one that's got one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them in this one. Aren't they cool? But they're actually actually a little too big. I don't know. I might set them on my fire in the fire in the fire pit on mine. Cause that stuff, that copper, that copper powder that you can put on pine cones. Did you all know that? There's a copper powder you can put on there, and you throw it in your fireplace, and it emits all these colors. It's we used to do it all the time when I was young. And uh, yeah, so I might throw them in my fireplace. Maybe glitter the edges up a little bit or something. But this one I like the best because it had six of them in there. Just kind of like how I did my Christmas trees and in, um, think inside the box. It almost looks like a star anise. Eh? Pretty cool, huh? And for those that hadn't seen, let me show you my candle sniffers. Snuffers, whichever they are. I made them. See how tiny they are? Snuff, snuff, snuff. I love those. Those are so cute. Aren't they? And my little wooden box, or my little wooden books, and all these um, are actually fingernail foil stick stuff. These are really cheap. You get all these, um, I don't know, dollars, I think. And they're different colors. Some of them are... Uh, um, holographic and I put gold foil I put sticky stuff and then I put gold and this was copper and then I painted the edges of the books so the books are going to go on there too I got this one and then a blue one for Linda or a blue one for Polly and a green one for Linda so got them and my little, I love my snow clock. <laughs> I do. I keep showing everybody my little snow clock. Oh, no, that is so cute. I'm cute. I think this one, I glued five of them together, and then I glued three of them together and separated them. You know, glued half of it so I had the little stand. So them are really cute. And... 
I got to go to the dollar store and get some more of them tea light candles. And I found the baskets. These are little baskets I'm going to put next to the fireplace, which I'm going to go out and get some twigs and fill it full of twigs for the fireplace for kindling or whatever. I might even just put a little pile oh, of so logs up there, too. So, got a whole bunch going on with these fireplaces now, people. Now, if you haven't seen the fireplaces, I'll show you the whole fireplace. This one here is going to be, oh, oh, it's stuck. This one is Linda's because she likes green. Oh, I hit my light. Move the light a little bit. And I made these out of toothpicks, which that one will not glue down for some reason. And I put little thread around the trees. I bought these trees up at the dollar store up north. And uh, yeah, I got to start making the stockings. And this other lady I met over on Die Die's channel, she uh, she made these type of garland things that is like only so long for Die Die. And I asked her if she can make them smaller, and she said yes. And I said, really? <laughs> it's like I look at my fireplaces because I need garland. So. Hopefully with her, she can get me, make me, I told her I need about a yard to do my garland because I still have not found anything to use for it yet. But I still got to make stockings. And so there's Linda and her husband, Polly and her husband. So I'm going to make two a piece. Linda has a dog. I could make a little tiny one for the dog. And so that's where I'm going at so far right now. And then we got the little. Aren't them cute? Oh, they're cute. Mm -hmm. Plus, I want to put them up here on the corners, too, or something. But I see them as I like shiny, shiny. Even if it ain't glitter, it's shiny. Although I could put glitter on it, but I already got glitter there. Oh, come on, Bo. Yeah. <laughs> Jude says I need a bigger sniffer, sniffer, sniffer for my head. A bigger snuffer? Hi, a Jamal. Sniffer. Hi, Jamal. We all waiting to see how they made. Oh, you want me to make another pine cone? Is that what you want, Die Die? Yes, she dies. Really enjoyed this, Martha. Martha doing amazing with miniatures. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Okay, if you want me to show you how to make another pine cone, I think we can do one more. These bows I did not buy. I bought these at um, Hobby Lobby. They were $2.99 with 40% off. Because you can't make them for that price. I don't care. And I love how shiny they are. Look how shiny. Ooh. No, I did not make them. I got a whole little bag of them right here. So, all right, we shall make another one just for you guys, and then we're going to call it quits. So, that means I got to get all my stuff out. Okay, how we start this procedure is with a little teardrop bead and I painted the top brown so when if it was open on the top that you can't see the white shiny stuff okay we are going to take the glue we need 
you'll have to watch the beginning of the show to tell you how to make all this little products out of here but these pieces are all made with that punch right there so a lot of punching and a lot of other things okay tweezers there's my tweezers let's clean the tweezers make sure they're not not no goopies on them so i've got actually two piles of my little teardrops these are rolled and these ones over here have more of a cup to them you know they're, they're cupped these go on the very bottom because that'll embed the bottom of the bead all right so here we go y'all watching you ready ready all right take some glue go around the top a little excessive but don't really need to use glue. we're going to take one of the curled ones that i did i'm going to show you how to do that at the beginning of the show and press that into place you're going to take another curled one oops a real a real nice curled one so it hugs the top of that bead Put that one on there. Oh man, that was a little bug. I killed him. And this one. And can y'all see? Let me, let me. And we're gonna glue that one right in there on the spot. Okay. Some more glue. This was my own invention, too, people. I'm going to keep a phrasing on that one. I thought of it while I was sleeping. I guess you could say. Okay, now you're going to kind of place them in between the other ones. Somewhere. I'll just start another row anyway. And the more that you make the bottom of it connect to the bead itself, the more it's going to pop out. This little point. Make sure you got your goggles on because they're, 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 they're tiny. I can't even hold on to them. And a little bit of shaking going on. Binoculars. <laughs> yeah. Need your binoculars, that's for sure. Oops. Come on, stay straight. Oh, I got it too close. To And if you got one that's rolled up a little too tight, you can just squish it down a little bit and make it fit. Sounds right, like a Ray Bradbury work. movement, Martha. He said, I don't need an arm. My idea is wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more glue to fill in that space. And that one's got to be flattened down a little bit. I tried four or five different ways to try to uh, curl these little buggers. And the only one that seemed to work was this. That worked the best, I thought. No, get off there. Okay. Oh, that row is done, so we're going to glue a little too much glue. And glue another one on. Take 
brush up a little bit so you can get that in there. Put another one on. Another one in. Okay, that looks pretty good for that row, so we'll put some more glue on. And we're going to put another row on. And kind of keep your uh, tweezers clean because these will stick to it very badly. See as I press on the bottom how it pops out? That's what you want. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good for the bottom row. We're going to use the cup. This is your fault, TK. Start at Don's. Huh? <laughs> Don dies. Blame me. <laughs> she started dying some papers and she's made a hell of a mess. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> yeah, don't burn yourself like KK does. Oh. As if you're baking them in the oven. I'm telling you. If I put a beak on this bird mark in some legs, it'll look like a bird on my hand. I'm not even joking. <laughs> wow, it looks really bad. <laughs> and be patient if you're move if you're making oh, hi, Elizabeth. Be very patient. Wait, I'm oh, hi, Lizzie. I'm gonna make sure I'm subscribed to her. I think I am because I watch her. Yep, I'm subscribed. Yes. I've been a lurker for a long time. <laughs> I don't know how they're getting in. Oh, I didn't want that hi, one. Lizzie. There. That's not the cupped one. Oh my cupped ones are over here. I actually probably could have put one more. Wait a minute, maybe I can sneak one in there. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, bye, Jude. She says, bye, everyone. Got to go. Bye, Jude. Thanks for coming, sweetie. It was nice to see you. I think I can skip another one in there, too. I should have put another whole row. And if you think that you need another one in there, just slide one in there, just like I did. And that, my dear, is how we made the pine cone. Just let it all dry and... I think they're too adorable. Look at the little top, how it's split even. <laughs> I know, cute. it's so cute. 
Well, it was like I kept thinking, gosh, I wish I had some of them Tim Holtz ones that Ruby had, you know, the metal ones. And mm -hmm. I was thinking, well, there's got to be a way I could make one. And I did. Okay, we got that <laughs> one. And what did I do? Okay. And then here's one that we all glittered up. I might have put just way too much glue on the glittered one, but I kind of like the real pine cone. I like this one better because you can see all the little edges. So that, so my people, so is how you make pine cones. Many pine cones. And try to put that in there without, uh, oops. Without causing any damage. I'm going to draw beak and legs on my um, bird. Well, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Hold on. i got to get that leg right. All right. That's set in there to die. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, I got it. What? Right now. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Dai Dai. Maybe Barb, you should ask him to make that a part of Christy Love's job. So I missed that, whatever that was about. What? I don't know I don't what Amy said. Let me see. Amy Wolf. Okay, and then anybody that just joined or whatever, these are little, they're going to be a little basket that we're going to make a centerpiece to put the pine cones in. But they've got to dry overnight because they are really wet from all that glue. So, any questions, anybody? And if you all can think of anything kind of miniature that would go on top of a fireplace mantle. Um, let's see, I got the books, the clock. It's going to be a centerpiece. And I don't know whether... What about family portrait? Like a Christmas family portrait. You can just make one up. Um, hmm. Chandeliers. I was thinking of a candelabra. You know, like three little candles. The three candelabra. Mm -hmm. But I did make... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me find it. See, I did make this one. And I quilled, I quilled the cup, and then I cut out like four or five stars and glued them together for a sturdy base. That's my little candle that I was gonna put on there. And then I ooh, ooh, ooh. I know what you should make, Martha. Had these what about pieces? Little Christmas cards. <gasps> little Christmas cards. That would be cute, KK. Oh, Christmas cards. Mm hmm. Yes. They would be so adorable. Yes, they would. They very much would be. Because I got some little tiny snowflake stamps and stuff. Mm hmm. Oh my God, they would be so cute. Even the, even, oh, wait, you got to make stuff. I see them at. Um, um, um. Oh, great. Somebody sent me these that would go really good on them. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. I'm over on YouTube. I can come over to Hangouts so I can see. Oh, 
I wonder who sent those. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> They're kind of big. The little but... snowflake confettis. Yeah. Yeah, some, some well, have cards. You, have you thought about making garland out of the um with the snowflake confetti? Because you could take a beading needle right through the center of the snowflakes and use invisible thread. Oh, that would take a lot, wouldn't it? Well, that's a lot in there. It doesn't look like it's a lot, but it's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah, look at how thick and that is. And if you is. need more, I have a whole jar full. Hmm. Very interesting, KK. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still stuck with the garland idea. Okay, and here's one stocking that I tried gluing together, and it won't glue, but what I want to do, I think what I'm going to do, come on camera work, I'm going to cut me out some, I'm going to sew them together, and sew the edge, and I'm going to make to where I can stick stuff in it, and I'm going to make a little candy cane. Oh, you were thinking the same thing I was thinking. Yes, I think that would be cute. Because? Even putting little names on the... Even putting names on it. Look at what I got. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, no. It don't punch it out. Yeah, it does. It's in the, the container. No, that's just... That's just pieces. Yeah, it should be. The, it, you should no, have the whole piece of That was the bow. Oh. Ah. Oh. Darn, darn, darn. Candy cane. I don't know if I've got a candy cane die in there or not. But there's always a way to make a candy cane because I have red wire. I don't know if I have white wire. But yeah, I'm going to make these. That's what I should do tonight is while I'm in the other room is stitch some of these together. Kelly Armstrong says quill your own garland. Ah, uh, quill. Quill my own garland. Couldn't um, you use your little fringer thingy? No, because we tried that the other day. And I tried twirling it, and it just. Well, not twirling it, but. Oh, like, wait. Some... I know what you're talking. Yeah. Well. Like, use okay, a piece so of wire. And if I had it on there the and twirled it around, you have to you have to connect to each piece to get the glue on there. Or wire. What do I have? Yeah, I would glue it to a piece of wire and just like wrap it around the wire and make it very fringy like a garland is. And that way, well, I don't want wire. That's the whole and... idea of the garland is I don't want wire in it. But it would probably work around a piece of yarn. Yeah, it could work around a piece of yarn too. So but that if you got it all um, glued, very flexible. I don't know how that would really work. Because if you got it all glued down, it would still be, it wouldn't be loose like I want it. Um, hmm, fiddle fart. But that Kathleen over on Die Dye's channel, man, that, that was really awesome what she made. And she said she could make them at this size. This is the size I want. This is the one that's got the wire in it, which I don't want. And I don't know what kind of material she used to make dye dyes, but it looked, unless it was a garland of some sort, I don't know, but they were really cool. Hmm.
Okay, Kelly, thanks for coming, honey. Have a good evening. Bye, Kelly. And I tried using this one. It would take up almost this whole piece, which wouldn't leave me enough for the other one. And I, like, took um, a smaller bottle than this, and I went like this, then I bent it, and I looped it again, then I bent it, and I looped it again, which looked really cool. A smaller bottle, of course. But, I don't, this might be my last resort. And in order to get, that's why I folded it in half to see how much I had, which just barely fits around the fireplace. In order to do two of them. So, but, I'm patient. I am a patient person. And something will come along. As they say, patience is a virtue. And good things come to those who wait, which I truly, truly, truly believe. I just broke that one off. So, okay, then we got, okay, garland, stockings. Then I was even thinking popcorn. Garland, but true. Who, I watch who true. makes miniature popcorn? <laughs> and after so long, I you know, said, What about eyelash trim? That's a good idea. I looked at the eyelash yarn and up north, but eyelash thread. Is there a such thing as an eyelash thread? I've never heard of it. I thought that's what she said. I looked at the uh, eyelash yarn up north, and it's it's too thin. Even if you crocheted something, they didn't have the color. They did have. They did not have any green. Excuse me. Okay, he's back in his box. Get him back in there. Don't need the brown. I gotta clean some of this mess up, people. It's just too much. Too much. Just too much. And all that darn glue that spilt out everywhere. So darn. Dad, I said the stuff that she got from Kathleen feels like that. Like that eyelash trim. And Elizabeth said that there are different weights of eyelash yarn. Oh, is there? Well, I told, I told Kathleen to check out my video on the fire places and I think that garland this garland is like three quarters from end to end of the garland is darn near an inch but I'm going to say three quarters That's about and Amy inch. says couldn't you buy the yarn and just trim the hairy bits down well yeah, but that's a lot of trim. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth said that she thinks the one that Dye Dye got was crocheted over a ribbon. Well, you try that, Elizabeth. I could not know how it goes. I don't know if there's any green out there. But whatever Kathleen used, it was sparkly. It looked like she used like real it had garland. Metallic thread in it. Yeah, it was beautiful. They were they were all they were both beautiful. Very pretty and shiny. It's like, oh my god, that's like kind of like what I want. I need. But I need it in green and I need it smaller. Smaller diameter. So. How dare you leave these puppies in here? 
We used a straw somehow. Oh. Used a straw. How did she use a straw? Did she have it? Maybe the th maybe the yarn itself went through the straw, so it would stay. You know, um, untangleable or something like that. Hmm. There is shimmer quilting thread. A rather fuzzy disc cloth yarn that might work. <laughs> Well, you keep up on her. Well, hello, Miss April Bain. Here, April, I'll show you. Here's my little mini pine cones. Look at look how tiny they are. Smaller than my nail. This one's fully glittered. This one's a, oh, yeah, that one's fully glittered. That one's only glittered on the ends. And then these two, this one I just got through making, so he's still wet. But look how tiny they are. Don't they look cute? Look at. Oh, come on, camera. Yeah, I like the raw ones. They look more like a real pine cone than the glittered. Oh, I lost one too. Oh, and then this one I took and I folded the little ends down. That's kind of all right. Actually, it is kind of cute. So. We're trying, we're discussing on a garland for these fireplaces. And the only one I've seen that maybe somebody can make is Kathleen from Die Die Show. I want her to make one and just make a sample. I want I would like her to make a sample one and show me like on your show what it looks like and the size of it. Cuz if she can do it, I'd I'd love for her to make me some. Like I said, I only need like about a yard. I don't know, let's see. This is That's almost 14 inches for half and I need double that, so 28, 28, 28 is 54. Crystal said, what Maybe about the tinsel yards. wireless Chanel rope garland? Tinsel wireless Chanel rope garland, huh? Tinsel wireless Chanel rope garland. And where in the world would you find that? Chanel rope. She doesn't want wire. Well, it says. I have wireless. to look that up for you real quick. Hold on. It said wireless. <laughs> well, no. it's probably the rope. This has got wire Pencil. in it. This is what yeah. exactly what I want, but I don't want no wire in it. No wire. Pipe cleaners have wire in it. Well, I'm looking. And so, hmm. the fireplaces that I made, ooh, ooh. I got from scrapbooking with me, except I made my own sizes and different things to them. And um, they had took these and did like the whole edge of the mantle of the fireplace, which is cute. But that's, you know, it's got to be my way. So I just thought I'd I'd like the wireless garland. But these are going to go into a little thing that we just made. And uh, I'm going to make a little centerpiece out of them. Which is going to be cute. 
It's gonna be cute. I don't care. It's gonna be cute, 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 cute. Um, and I gotta paint I'm these. I'm pulling up right now, Crystal, for her. What oh time my is God, it? Almost it's seven beautiful. o'clock. Oh, no. You're gonna like this, Martha. So let me see if my wire. Almost seven o'clock. It's almost eight o'clock for me. It's six forty-six here. Okay, hold on. Which here is my? Oh, that's gonna be too long. Case of wire. Uh, let me see. That black one. I don't have no red wire whatsoever, right? I got pink. No red wire. Ain't that a bummer? And let's. I think the beads will fit on this one, so I'll use that. Save all the good stuff for later. She's looking for garland that is doesn't have wire in it. Martha, so the one Crystal was talking about, um, I found it. It's really pretty. You'll have to click on that link. They have like an iridescent color one. Okay, let me click they on it. They have different colors. They have iridescent. That, that one you just shared don't work. Uh, it's a long, hold on, let me share it on Facebook to you, because it's a very long code, and I had to break it up because I wouldn't send it. All right, hold on. You know, I went, Christine, I went to Hobby Here's Lobby, and in the Christmas section to the miniature part, they got some really cute little tiny garland, but it also has wire in it. Yes, I can see your posts. Do you have a Hobby Lobby, Martha, near you? Yeah, it's right down the road. Oh, yes. Okay, hold on. Let me put it in there. Factory. That is really cute. Now, see, that would work for Garland. Right. They right got near gold. They got like blue, wireless like blue. Chanel rope garland. <gasps> oh. Yeah, where's the colors? I'm looking on Hobby Lobby real quick, too. Yeah, see if Hobby Lobby's got that. I, I haven't looked at any yeah, of the yarn at Hobby Lobby. I looked at the yarn up at uh, Arnie's at Houghton Lake. Now, they've pretty much got every yarn you can think of up there. But I didn't. I was just looking at the eyelash. That's the only one I was I looking really like that white one. Okay, somewhere on the table is my cutters. Oh, here it is. Oh, the white one's pretty. That would really kind of work. Mm, I like the white one, too. Yeah. Free delivery from October 19th through October 25th. Over 15 bucks. Well, that's going to count me out there. I'm skimping on my money right now, people. Skimp, skimp, skimping. FactoryDirect.com um, Okay, so let's type in... Uh, tinsel Chanel Garland. Not here, not here, not here, not here. I was going to type in that link for Crystal. It's factory direct. Crafts. Oh, These little beads, I'm going to paint red. I 
think I might have some smaller ones somewhere, but I don't know where they're at. Oh, uh, let's see. I think that rope is. Yeah, I think that rope is perfect. I'm so with it. Find anything out yet? I don't want to come up. April, are you still here? Um, how did Laura's Botox shots go? Did they work for her? Drink some beads and add holly leaves and pine cones for garland. Yeah, you know what? If it comes down to it, I think it probably will have to do beads. Okay. Okay, so I looked in Hobby Lobby. It doesn't have the Chanel garland. Oh, bummer. Hmm. Okay. There. Made me a little thing that I can paint my beads on. But to connect it to hold it to what, I don't know. Oh, and look. It fits perfect in my little meat tray. So, I'll paint them tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. I really got to get online and put some more applications in. Okay, but I want to see the new Halloween. Found the lion to go with my... To put on my, uh... You know, my wallet that KK made wallet? me. Wallet? Wallet. Oh, I thought she had them the other day. Oh, okay. I don't know what I do with my glass jar. Let's put all these greeneries back in here. stuff back in there. What is that for me? Nothing. Throw that away. My little wood logs that somebody says, no, get the ones from outside. So yes, that's what we're going to use is the ones from outside. <laughs> I'm ready to grab my felt, go in the front room and grab me something to eat, watch some boob tube. Oh my god, this place is a mess. What you just call it? <laughs> boob tube. <laughs> well, you never heard of the boob tube before? You ask all these older, <laughs> older ladies on well, here. Okay, so Anna said that she found a shamrock one that is green, but you would have to trim off the actual shamrocks. And uh, to have a wire in it. You have to trim the actual shamrocks off. Thank 
And then Christine says, glitter those pine branches and string them. Okay, Day Day. When I get situated in the hey, other room, I'll come over and see you. Yeah, um, I'll be over there too. <laughs> actually, that's what this was. It was the, you know, that you put on packages and it had uh, gold snowflakes. And I took all the snowflakes off of it. Somehow something will come about. Something will come about. So. Night, Anne. And it's only October. I still got like two more months. So. Okay. But I still like to think ahead so I know, you know. Oh, I've got so many more pine cones to make. Oh. I've got one, two, three, four, five made. And actually, if I all glitter them, I only need like one more. I was thinking about putting three apiece because you won't really see the back of it. So I figured three apiece. I posted the link on Facebook. On what channel, Anna? Channel. What group? Yeah, what group? What channel? Duh. Oh, she probably posted on um, Paper Crafting with Friends. Oh, that would be a good group. Yeah, you were in there earlier. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. And that one's got to go for that. So I'll put this back in here. Clean that up. And my little die sets over there. And by golly, George. Oh, I missed him again. Oh. Okay, people. Nope, she's in, in Ruby's group. All right. I'm going to go over there right now and look. Let's go see what we can find. Let's see what Anna had found. Shamrock Tinsel Garland. That looks like regular garland, like the two inch thick by the two inch thick stuff. Uh, one inch wide. Wait a minute. One inch wide shamrock. Oh, that's a shamrock. It's like only dollar forty seven. I think that's like Yeah. If that okay, now look at the shamrocks. They're only the shamrocks are one inches wide. So that's like a two inch wide garland. Yeah, that's too big. That's too big. But good find though, Anna. Yeah, that's too big. Dollar forty-seven. That's pretty nice price there. And I love, I love me some St. Patty's Day. Well, thank you, Barbara, and thank everybody for uh, coming and. Seeing how things have been made so far. But I am ready to go sit in a softer seat and get me a hot dog. I think I'm going to have a hot dog for dinner. Oh, that right there. So, you all have a good evening. It could be trimmed down, Anna, but that'd be a lot of trimming. I mean, that would be, and it wouldn't. It wouldn't look good after my trim and love that. No. No, it wouldn't. 
Hmm. Bummer though, right? Yep, you ladies have a good night, and uh, we'll see you next time around. So, much love to y'all. Bye. Thanks for coming.